So this is going to be a really quick video because all I'm going to talk to you about uh, today is fuel rods um, and they are basically uh, portable chargers like an anchor charger if you know what an anchor is it's a battery pack that you can plug in USB cables to charge your electronic devices. Now when I'm vlogging I have um, seven, seven batteries in total um, but on a busy day especially if it's cold because cold drains the batteries I also need to top up those batteries with um, a power bar because those seven batteries will not last a full 18 hours in the park if I don't charge up my um, camera in between and also my phone, uh, my old phone would only go for about half an hour before the battery died so I was constantly having to plug my phone in. The problem I found is that the old charger, the contact started to get a bit dodgy so I actually had to push, hold the charger and push the USB cable to make a contact in order to charge which meant I couldn't just chuck my phone plugged in into my bag to charge because it wouldn't charge it so I couldn't get any charging done unless I was actually sat like at a table or something and just holding it. So I needed to get a new um, power bar. Um, I did look on Amazon, I did look at the prices and then forgot. Um, but sort of forgot with the view in mind that I would actually get a fuel rod when I went. I nearly got one in October in Walt Disney World but then I looked at the price and I thought oh, it's $30. Um, and I didn't. However, when you look um, at the cost of them on the high street or online, they are about that much. So um, I didn't get one for the main reason being, you'll see when I go into a bit more detail, but you can uh, reuse them throughout the parks. So what is a fuel rod? Um, it is a, um, a little mini charger and you need to find a fuel rod station and they are marked on the maps with a little sort of charger symbol and anywhere where there is one of those symbols you will find a fuel rod station. Now on the screen you've got two options, buy or swap. Now the first time obviously you're going to want to buy and it is $30. I use my prepaid credit card, I can't remember if it takes cash. Um, but it is $30 and then after that you can swap them out as many times as you want. This is the joy of fuel rods. If you fully deplete your charger when you're in the park or say you forgot to charge it the night before, all you need to do is go to a fuel rod station, select swap, put in your current dead charger and it will just dispense a recharged one for you. The only thing that I found a little frustrating is I like to keep everything nice and clean and pristine. Uh, once it's gone through that drop and it comes through as a recharged one, it does get scuffed and some of them I did get were pretty rubbishy um, quality. So just bear that in mind, you're not going to have a nice shiny new fuel rod once you start swapping it out. So you pay your $30 and the first time you will get a little plastic case like this. Now it does actually come with a paper instruction thing in as well, but the case is so tight, I don't know if you can see, I can't actually close it because I can't get everything back in it properly. So again, that's something else to bear in mind. It's a good thing to have a case to keep it in, but it's really difficult to get the rod and the cables back into this one case again. Um, so just bear that in mind. Um, but you get this with your uh, with the little instruction thing. So you just open it up. See, this is how tight they're in there. And what you get inside your little plastic case is you get a um, USB adapter, which I don't have to use. So I keep it just in case, and I keep it in the case. And then you get two little mini USB cables, and I love these because they're dinky. Um, this one is your micro USB, which charges the camera I'm talking to you on, and this one is a lightning USB, which charges my phone. Having said that, I have used both of my micro USB and Apple cables in this fuel rod, and it does charge using the other cables as well, so any USB cable you can plug in. So this is your fuel rod. Um, it's got a barcode on the side which it's, it will scan as it goes into the machine. It has a, a main USB slot in order for you to plug in so that you can then plug your device into charge. But it also has the micro one 
so that you can plug in and then you can plug the main USB into either a charging plug or a computer or any, even if you've got a plug socket that's got a USB device uh, slot on it, then you can do that. And that will then charge this, which is very good. So uh, you get your fuel rod and then you can just use it. Once it's um, filled up, you just go back to a fuel rod station and it shows you, you have to drop it in this way around. So the barcode needs to go on the right hand side and it needs to read fuel rod the right way. And you just drop it in the slot and it just drops down and you'll hear it go boom, and then boom, down the bottom, your new one comes out. And this is all you get. When you swap, you just get the rod. So keep the case and keep the cables because you don't get a new packet every time. When you just swap a rod, all you do is you drop your fuel rod in like this and you get one out like this. So there's nothing else that comes with it when you charge it. As I said, um, you can um, char recharge them, which is great, because what I did was I spent all of the time in the parks just dropping them off, and when it ran out, it just, it just stops charging. There's nothing to tell you whether it is actually dispensing energy or not. Um, I'm used to my other power bar, it's got four lights on it, so I can see what the power levels on that are. This doesn't, it will just stop charging. So I could just see that my camera light didn't come on to charge, but I knew it had a dead battery in it. So I knew that it wasn't charging. Just find a fuel rod station, drop it in and get a new one. Then, once you leave the parks, the beauty of it is, you then just get your micro USB, plug it in, and then you can plug your phone into your fuel rod into charge. Now when it's charging via the USB, I did notice it does get a light on the top, so you can see that it is charging when you get a light on the top. And then it's charged again, it's ready to go. So you can then use it when you're not at a Disney park. Now the thing about this that I think is really good actually is, as I said, my current power bar is um, dying. It's connections getting dodgy and it's losing power. The beauty of this is, if you do go to Walt Disney World or Disneyland, you know, even once a year, then you're technically getting a renewed power bar. So if this starts to die as you're using it away from the parks, if you're then going on another Disney holiday, you'll start swapping them out again and you'll start getting the newer ones again. I presume they take them out of service at some point, I don't know whether the barcode gives you a batch number or anything, um, but that means that you won't end up with a power bar that you've bought, gradually dies and then you have to buy a new one. Just take it on your next Disney holiday, swap it and charge it out. So I would highly recommend these. Um, <clears throat> great bits of kit and the advantage is you don't ever have to worry about, oh I forgot to charge it when I'm in the parks or oh I've used it too much, because all you do, find the other machine, get a new one. It's perfect. So I would highly recommend these are ideal because they charge and the good thing is although this camera won't actually switch on and function when it's plugged into a power source, your phone will. So you can just carry on using your phone whilst it's plugged into one of these. And it's so small that I had it in my backpack with my long Apple cable and then I could have my phone out and just carry my phone as normal even though this was in the back. So perfect. I would highly recommend if you're thinking about getting a power bar um, for a Disney trip, um, get a fuel rod, $30, and they are renewable. You can change them, so it's a great thing. Let me know if you have any questions. It's a fairly simple concept, um, so I hopefully I have covered everything. But if not, let me know in the comments down below, and I will try and answer the question as best I can. Thank you for watching.